Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I know this is usually a rarity, especially in transfer season. We usually go live, but don't really have a lot of time today. And also with the topics that we have to talk about, it's not really worth going live. We're just going to be moaning about how broke some of these European clubs are. And we're going to touch on these Nkunku rumours that have come literally out of nowhere. And I don't even get why we have Fabrizio even talking about this. But we're going to chop up everything regarding Chelsea over the last 24 hours. We've got one of the most pathetic deals I've ever heard for Lukaku. We've got Ian Matson links, a.k.a. Broke Borussia links. And yeah, we're going to talk about the Nkunku situation as well. Or situation. All in today's video. So guys, get involved. Hit the like button, subscribe, get involved in the comment section as well if you guys want to let us know your thoughts. I'm going to try and be as interactive as I possibly can be. And yeah, tomorrow we could be looking at a Soccer Aid vlog. It just depends on how the content looks because the, f the one thing that I'm thinking is, do people care about a Soccer Aid vlog? Let me know in the comments because like it's a, it's a charity game. Half the people in there are celebs. From where I'm sitting, you're barely going to get a decent angle anyway. Let me know if you want to see a Soccer Aid vlog. I'm going to see what I can do. Might even get some behind-the-scenes footage from the hotel. If we can get pictures with the likes of Hazard and Lampard and all of that. But yeah, let me know. Let me know. I'm going to be at Soccer Aid tomorrow, so I doubt there's going to be a stream. Unless there's any like massive breaking news, then we'll come back straight after Soccer Aid and go live. But if not, you'll see me on Monday. Until then, we're going to go through the latest transfer news today. And we're going to start off probably with this Nkunku news. Because I just want to get this over and done with. Christopher Nkunku is going nowhere, according to Fabrizio Romano. F thank you. Thank you for the update. We, we really needed that. The, the maddest thing is, like, this was actually some speculative content over the last few days. There was some news coming from Sky Sports in Germany saying that Chelsea have received interest and inquiries for Nkunku, but no plans to let him go this summer. Nkunku also wants to stay. And now Fabrizio has also topped that up, saying he's going nowhere. Where were these rumours even coming from? This is the first thing that I want to know. Who would have been interested? It wouldn't have been Leipzig. Dortmund are broke as hell. They couldn't afford it. So would it, was it just Bayern? Was it just Bayern monitoring Nkunku potentially? Either way, Nkunku has no reason to want to leave. He's got a lot to prove to Chelsea in the fact that last season was very unlucky for him with the whole injury situation and everything. But from his perspective, he'll want to show exactly why Chelsea paid the money for him. He'll want to show the Chelsea fans exactly why they've been patient for him throughout the entire season. He's also a key part of our project as well. So why would he want to leave? Like, the fact... This would have only made sense if this was from Bayern, but nobody's even linked Bayern to Chelsea. So it just feels like a giant non-story. Like, thank you to Fabrizio for bringing this one up at least, but I mean, I could, this is like me telling you Moises Caicedo is going nowhere. Or, um, I, I don't know, Cole Palmer isn't going nowhere. Duh. Of course they're not going anywhere. They're, they're locked up. I'm sure Nkunku's on the seven-year contract as well. He ain't going anywhere. Don't go anywhere. You ain't going anywhere. So, yeah, nice to get rid of that crappy little non-story. Um, Lukaku. Let's talk about Lukaku. Because this deal, this first offer, if it's true, is driving me insane. Because I know these Serie A clubs are broke. But they're taking the mick. From Republica, it's been reported that the Napoli director of sport has made the first offer to Chelsea for Lukaku. 12.7 million! And also 2.5 in add-ons. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is what these broke bastards have to offer to us. 12.7 million and 2.5 in add-ons. I wouldn't even message them back. Or if I did message them back, I would get a translator in just so I can cuss them all out in Italian before blocking their number. Because what is this? 38 million for a proven Serie A title winning striker 
We know age is just a number in Italy as well. The amount of 30 plus players that ball out for years in that league. And you have the nerve to try and offer that. Even as an opening offer to just start negotiations. That's a pile of garbage. That is straight garbage. So, like, I, I don't get it. It's the same group that won 130 million for Oshiman. And as much as I rate Oshiman, he ain't worth that much. But they want 15 million overall for Lukaku. I'm sick of these Syria clubs. I'm so sick of them. First, we get done in by Inter Milan. Then we have to deal with their crappy negotiation tactics to try and take Lukaku back. We've got Napoli offering 12.5 million. We've got. Milan off trying to take him on loan. AC Milan. Like, what part of 38 million do you lot struggle with? Even Roma. Roma can't even afford that. What is the point? What is the point? I swear, like, part of, the, part of this is just throwing me off the whole Oshiman situation because I'm just sick of negotiating with Serie A teams. I'm tired of it. All these lot do is undervalue our players and overvalue their own. Broke, broke, broke. Get in the bin. And speaking of broke, let's get into Borussia Dortmund. These men are still trying to negotiate with Chelsea to bring down the release clause. We heard 21 million yesterday. And now they're still trying to lower it down. Like what part of 35 million or bounce do you lot not struggle do you lot struggle with? How hard is it for a guy who was key to you lot getting into the Champions League final, was in the UCL team of the season, the guy who won Rookie of the Month in his first month in the Bundesliga, and you're telling us 21 million. Get in the bin. You all stink. You all stink. And if you think that we need to sell players for PSR rules, you got another thing coming because we don't even have to do that. We don't even have to do that. So you're just wasting your own time. I hope with Ian Matson they will drag this out. So we can like rearrange. We can sort out another contract extension. Get that dumb release clause out of there. And then you're all screwed. Lukaku. I'm so. I'm just so tired with the whole Lukaku situation. Once Inter Milan fell out of it last season. I tapped out. I'm like I can't be bothered. I'm stuck with him. The only decent thing is, is his wages have gone down. He's not at 325k a week anymore. I think he's on about half that. So with that in mind, it should be easier to try and get rid of him. But we can't do it. We can't do it at all. It's just mind-numbing. It's just so, so mind-numbing when it comes to dealing with this Lukaku situation. But... Uh... We picked the wrong striker to sign. We could have just got Haaland then. It would have been so much easier. So much easier. Yet again, I apologise for trying to push Lukaku prop over Haaland. That's my fault. And this is also for everyone who says, Oh, Lewis don't ever want to admit when he's wrong. I've been apologising for that take for the best part of two years. Disgrace. Every single one of you. But, hey, that's your latest transfer news for today, people. We are getting we are getting spun around by these broke European clubs. Hopefully Matson returns. Hopefully Lukaku does not return. And then Kunku stays. Yes. So on to Soccer Aid tomorrow. Get to watch Eden Hazard kick ball again for the first time in years. Hopefully Pochettino doesn't injure him in training. Thank please. I, I beg I beg you, God. I beg you, God. But yeah, looking forward to the day off. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe and all of that. Seeing as it is Soccer Aid tomorrow, it feels only right to end with a little potch out. <laughs> and yeah, big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Daily streams on the channel as always. And yeah, big up everybody. Up the Chelsea.